Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you some unique and helpful video editing features using CapCut. CapCut is an easy to use editing tool. It is completely for free. It doesn't have any ads, no watermarks, and you can use it to post directly to TikTok. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And without further introduction, let's go ahead and start with the video. All right, so when you get into the app, you're gonna have to click on new project and then select the video that you want to edit from your album and then from here we're going to be using the split feature so that we can sort out our video to use the split feature you just have to click on the video that we're editing and then click on split and just delete the part that you don't want to include in the video this is a very simple and easy step but this will definitely give your video a smooth flow The next thing we're gonna add are effects, so go ahead and click on effects right there, and then body effects. I have never seen this kind of feature in other editing platforms that I've used before, so I think that CapCut really elevated this feature. You can choose from its variety of cool effects and you can get creative with it, but right now I'm gonna be using the body effect since my video contains a person in it. All you have to do is to click on the effect of your choice and then just press hold and drag it depending on when you want the effect to start. And adjust it just like how we sorted in the first feature depending on how long you want the effect to be visible. Next is keyframe. A lot of YouTubers use this to zoom or pan anywhere on the video. This is very simple and easy to do. You just have to click on this icon right here. Click it on where you want the zoom in to take effect and click it again on where you want the zooming to end. And then using your two fingers, zoom in the video until you see the image where you want the zooming to stop. Next, we're going to be adding an overlay. Just click on overlay and then add overlay and then choose any photo or video that you want to add on top of your original video. This is mainly used by streamers or just like my example, it can be a different perspective of your main video. You can also use photos for creativity. You can place it anywhere on the screen. You can turn on and turn off its original audio. You can cut and crop it just like your regular clip and just be creative with it depending on your style. For chroma key, we're just gonna add an overlay just like what we did earlier. And here I'm gonna add a logo of the brand in the video, but I wanna remove its background. Just click on chroma key and then a color picker will appear. Just move it on top of the background of your overlay and then you can change the intensity until the background is completely gone. To add transitions, you need to click on the separator between the videos. So here I'm going to split the video to show that and we're going to click on it. Again, they have a lot of choices to choose from and their transitions are so unique you can find them in other free editing apps. These transition effects are also going to be useful if you're making an intro for your YouTube channel or even make an impressive video presentation. To add curve, we're going to click on the video that we're editing, click on speed, click on curve, and from here we're going to choose the curve style that we want, either montage, hero, bullet, jump cut, flash in, and flash out. With curve, you can change the speed of some parts of your video from one point to another. This is way easier instead of cutting your video to pieces and set the speed one by one. In here, you can speed up and slow down some parts of your video simultaneously. You just need to press hold and drag the speed points where you want your video to speed up and slow down. Drag it up to increase the part's speed and drag down to slow down to the speed point.
adding auto caption or auto subtitle is very easy using CapCut. You just need to pull up your video with a voiceover, click on text, click on auto caption, and from here you can change your preferred language. Then click on continue and wait for it to render. Subtitle is an essential part of a YouTube video. Not only that it helps your viewers to understand your content more, but it also helps in terms of YouTube algorithm. Starbucks is coming home. Once it's done rendering, you can now move the text or the subtitle anywhere on the screen for better reading. Starbucks is coming home. You guys already know that I am a huge coffee lover. And I am very excited to let you guys know that we can now enjoy Starbucks coffee at home. I hope that you guys learned something from this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.